Hello my friends, Sakuya here, and welcome back to another Millennium Dawn Hearts of Iron 4 video. That is right my friends, we are back in the world of Millennium Dawn, the modern day mod that takes place starting in the year 2000, and is filled with all kinds of very questionable political things. Welcome to politics. As you all can probably guess by now from all the previous Millennium Dawn videos that I have done, I am absolutely rushed out, which is why I actually put out a poll on my page that was based off the suggestions that you all gave in a previous post that basically listed a bunch of different nations and what it is that we should choose, and you all, by a overwhelming margin, chose South Korea. It's actually very funny because one of the first nations that I actually played in here for Millennium Dawn was North Korea. I know that on my history page, I'm probably going to be talking about South Korea and Japan and other nations in Asia that are experiencing a lot of geopolitical issues right now. But it's really interesting that we're looking back at this in the year 2000 because Asia was really the major tiger force that was rising up in the 90s and the 2000s. And South Korea, well, I mean, it's not as much as it was back in, say, the 90s, but it is still a pretty strong state. The Republic of Korea has successfully overcome war, poverty, and dictatorship to become one of the most developed and stable countries in the world. President Kim Dae-jung is widely respected for his role in bringing democracy to Korea, and many are hopeful about his efforts to make peace with the North. However, his administration has been tainted by scandal, and Korean politics remains exceedingly polarized. Political partisanship, government corruption, and uncertainty surrounding the president's efforts to reconcile with the North will define Korea's future in this new millennium. Yeah, the, uh, the thing about South Korea is that the whole uh, economic tiger that it was is based off the presence of these very specific companies, like Samsung and others that you may recognize, called Chebols, or Che Chebols? Che Chebols, that's, that's the name. Essentially, they are mega corporations that pretty much own the majority of GDP within Korea. In fact, actually, you can see right here, Chebol Dependence. Yeah, they are the largest industrial conglomerates that pretty much control everything in there. If even one of these companies experienced trouble, the entire South Korean economy would crash. And as for what they are talking about regarding the sunshine policy that you can see here, the idea behind that in this time was that by being very friendly to the North, very open and trying to reconcile, that eventually this would make North Korea see the light and actually try to work with South Korea instead of threatening it with nuclear annihilation. We know now, all these years later, which if you're watching this now in 2024, then it is the current year, that that policy did not work. But I'm wondering, if we actually played it out, what, what if it did work? What would actually happen? You know what? I think we actually want to try that. How about we go super friendly? friendly Korea and see what actually happens. Hello, my friends, Takuya here, and I'm going to let you get back to the video. I'm sorry for interrupting that, but I wanted to give you a heads up that this May I am leading a trip to Italy, and unfortunately, we did have some last-minute cancellations just now, but because of that, that now means that there are a few spots open for the trip. So if you want to go on an adventure with me, if you want to go to Rome, if you want to go to Florence and see these ancient Roman sites and have a fun adventure, then by all means, click the link down in my description because I'm going to be leading this trip soon, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see you there. And so here we are, January 1st, 2000. The thing that I've actually noticed here from the very beginning is South Korea has a remarkably high treasury for the beginning of the game, and they're not really losing all that much. Technically speaking, at the state that I'm going here, I could continue for 140 weeks without actually running into a deficit, at least at the rate that we currently are. We also have 140 billion in investments, meaning if I wanted to, I could actually pay off my debt right now, but I'm, I'm making more in investments than I am from debt, so there's really no reason to do that. Damn, that's actually really strong. And that, all being said, is with a massive army that we actually have out here. I'm wondering if that's going to change here. Either way, let's go ahead and get things going. First step that we're probably going to need to do is see about our economy and manage that. We have a decent amount of energy. We are actually in the positives there. That is pretty nice. But we only have around 22 civilian factories to work with, which is still a decent amount, but not much considering what is required in Millennium Dawn. So first things first, we need to go ahead and build up our infrastructure, get everything ready, and reinvigorate this economy after, you know, the uh, financial crisis of the 90s. And from that, we're going to need to get some civilian industry underway and start making some cell phones in our country, damn it. I have maxed out network, so that's not really needed. We just need to get the infrastructure so that we can build faster. And in addition to having these civilian factories constructed, we're also probably going to want to get just a couple fossil fuel plants just to really get things going. Tech-wise, we have a lot of research. That is, that is actually amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and get this going. We are decently far ahead in tech in everything way ahead of the troubled North Korea. So that's nice. And we can start investing in all these varying things for technology.
technology and really get ourselves going. The big thing that I need to probably monitor is energy. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of so that that way I won't have to really worry about this. And we'll focus on our production immediately after. But this, oh man, we, we're, we're actually starting with a pretty decent start from the beginning. Military factory wise, we have 14, not the most, but also pretty decent from the very get go, as well as a decent surplus of stuff. We can probably actually start investing in just having a little stockpile here going. Oh my Lord, do I have self-propelled artillery from 2025? What the hell? How am I this far ahead with something? Oh my God. All right, since we are South Korea, potentially dealing with the North, we do actually want to have a military industry, so I can't really delete my entire army, which is unfortunate. But what we are going to probably need to do is buy resources, which I don't want to have to do, but it is what it is. I don't want to support China. I don't want to support any of these. That could all be a major problem for me. We might as well just start building more positive relations with the United States, but I don't want to use all my convoys. Actually, how about Australia? Yeah, Australia seems like a decent ally to have here on the coast. Or, no, the Philippines. I can start getting some influence going with this. Maybe we'll even see some rubber in the future. I mean, invest in rubber plantations. Yes, exactly. There we go. That has that all sorted. And now let's see, outdated equipment. Oh, right now that's the tank that I'm producing. What we are really going to need is lots and lots of convoys. I do not care about a Navy, but you all know how these games go when as soon as we get puppets, we're going to need as many convoys as we possibly can. Division-wise, we have 49 divisions. That is actually a lot here. I I don't think that I need all of these here, actually. Got special forces, got all these things, infantry. You know, the homeland defense, these probably can be deleted. I don't want to have to pay for all these things. So let's delete some of these. And Marines, no, we probably want Marines to be able to cross rivers and things. It's still kind of decent. A lot of motorized infantry. Okay, we're going to split that in half and delete these guys, at least some of them. Okay, you know, we're just going to leaving some of the military. The rest of it, we're going to need to keep around as a kind of defensive force to be able to do things. And now, my friends, the focus tree. What it is that I'm seeing here with South Korea is that South Korea has a fairly large focus tree, or I say fairly large. It's a decent size, but it's not as big as Russia and the other ones that we've been looking at. The big thing is deciding between whether or not you are going to support more of left-wing politics and working down reconciliation, or whether you're going to go more right-wing and not exactly nationalist per se, but definitely focus more on hardline defense. I could even provoke North Korea if I wanted to. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. We are definitely going to be going down the more left-oriented path, at least from the capitalist side. And then simultaneously, we have middle power diplomacy. This is going to be something that allows me to have South Korean influence and start building up relations across the world. I just kind of like that. I can play the game. Hmm. I can even invest in things and eventually take them over. <laughs> Oh, oh, that that's interesting. That is interesting. And of course, all of this leads to what will hopefully be the eventual reunification of Korea, which that's something that we're going to try to do. And hopefully, hopefully North Korea doesn't try to murder us. So first things first, State of the Republic. Founded in August 1948, the modern day Republic of Korea inherits a long and painful historical legacy. The lingering effects of Japanese colonialism, Cold War antagonism, military dictatorship, and rapid economic growth are keenly felt by today's inhabitants of South Korea. Yes, we will need to get that. That boost our cell. Oh my god, I am really hurting here in political power. It's gonna take forever to try to get rid of corruption at their oh my god, this will take forever. Ah, uh, okay, well, that might be a little bit of an issue for me. Let's see what happens then. Oh, I also oh, because I was playing as Russia, I didn't realize this before, but with the fuel consumption system, it means that I have to actually buy oil because if I don't, I will actually run out. Oh my god, that is fascinating. That means that you do actually have to buy oil in this game. Huh. I don't want to support Russia, but I think I, I have to support Russia in this scenario. Let's see if I buy two. No, that's that's not enough. I actually need to buy a decent amount of this. I'm still set to run out. How much construction am I using? Oh my God. No, all of my consumer goods. All of my, what happened to my industry? It's because I have to trade away for everything. Are you kidding me? Okay. That could be a little bit of a problem for me then. Okay, I'm gonna stop buying gold because I don't want to have to do that. And instead, no, I actually do have to buy oil. Yeah, at least that'll last me two years at the state that I'm going here. That's fine. Let's see, the big thing I'm gonna need to do is build up my industry as fast as possible. So economic democratization, maybe that's political power. Oh, this will piss off the chapels. Okay, okay, so we're gonna have that. Tackle anti-competitive practices, empower the trade unions, ratify ILO. Okay, all of this is going to really hurt the chapels. Replace chapels with small and medium business owners. Wait, hold on, what, what bonuses do they provide? We have the intelligence agency, naturally. We have the armed forces, of course, and then we have the chapels, which, oh yeah, that really increased the cost of corruption. And this normally, if they like me, that would help me if I really lean down the, uh, the conservative path. 
Hmm. As much as I love the idea of mega corporations, in this case, I, I think that I'm just going to go ahead and try and remove them. We're going to really push into Korea's liberalization policies. The Korean left's political vision is one of the privileges and interests of ordinary people over the elite chables and reconciliation with the North over confrontation. It is a vision that is decidedly anti-status quo, seeking a transformation of South Korea's economic system and its international position. The modern Korean left inherits the mantle of the pro-democracy movement that toppled Korea's autocracy. Yes, let's go ahead and get this done. I really want to see if this actually works, and I don't hopefully potentially screw myself over. It's the ideological struggle. Our party is defined by our ideology. The way we look at the world gives us unique ways of approaching it. Oh, oh, wait, I could get more resources. It's gonna cost me some money. Yes, of course we're gonna do this. We want more resources. Absolutely, we want to do that. The more resources that I can get, the more that I'm able to export and simultaneously, that means that hopefully I won't run into nearly as many trouble. Because I have steel, I have literally nothing else, which is gonna be a problem. I actually need resources as quickly as I can. So once we get our economy underway, we really should try to get access to that. Sunshine policy. Yes. Okay. This is what I want to do, but first things first, we need an economy before we can actually do that. National assembly elections loom as parties begin campaigning. Oh, right. Hold on. Cause I'm actually in charge here. And the democratic party is the one that is in charge and seems to have a majority of everything. So it's not really going to be a problem for us. Let's see medium military spend. Actually, what are my expenditures right now here? The majority of stuff is dedicated to welfare. Naturally, it always happens, but I do spend a lot on defense, actually. So technically speaking, if I wanted to, if I saved up the money, I could go down. Let's see. Gains National Assembly liberal majority, which grants political power plus 1%. Hey, okay, that's something. That would reduce my spending by, oh my God, only like 0.2 billion. Yeah, there's no point in doing that. I'll just keep the higher spending because people are, oh wait, no, they're not happy. I'm not spending enough on police or administration. Here, you know what? We're going to fix that immediately. High police and intelligence funding. So we're going to do that. That will provide some stability. And on top of that, basic civil service? No, large. It's going to hurt my construction speed, but I need more political power to do things. In fact, wait, hold on. No. How much does this cost? Oh, yeah, it's like 0.2 billion. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be spending some money here in the beginning, but it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. That will at least help me generate more political power as well to utilize. Okay, with economic democratization, that means I can investigate corruption, which is going to hurt the chables by me even more, but we are going to get even more Democratic Party stability. This is also, oh, wait, no, I cannot do that. Oh, that will make welfare so much worse. Okay. No, 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 no. We need to tackle corruption as much as possible here. And this, okay, wait, I didn't actually need to spend the political power. This would have increased my stuff anyway. Okay, well, we're, we're going to work on this, okay? And to that end, first we're going to investigate corruption, because it's an open secret that important executives have engaged in bribery to ensure preferential treatment for their companies. Opening investigations into these practices will contribute to our goal of ending the dominance of chibbles. It's actually probably the most that I could do to help me right now, considering how much I'm losing to corruption, I'm sure. Let's see, with corruption done, that is, that is pissing off the chibbles even more. This will help me with my competitiveness, but this is going to increase my state, but I don't want to quite do that yet here. I need to be able to do these other things before I do anything else, because I want to avoid welfare as much as possible. That will actually really hurt me. In fact, I'm realizing as much as I want to do this. No, I have to be lined. I have to be lined down here and remove chable dependence. It's it's necessary. So, okay, tackle anti-competitive practices. We're going to do this, increase the state further, and get even more centralized authority and power. Because, yeah, going down by even one corruption level lowered our losses by 0.4 billion, which means that if we can remove the chables as fast as possible, we will be able to go ahead and invest into removing corruption faster. But to that end, I have to save up a lot of political power so we can do it all at once. Oh, and actually, wait, no, a liberated economy. No, 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 no. This is going going down with con Korean Confederation of Trade Unions. I don't want that. I want a fair economy, which, yeah, no, that's the thing that I want small and medium business owners. We're, we're going to go with the everyday common man and support those. All right, that's what we're doing. Which means I will actually need to pay for welfare. Ugh, ugh, I don't like that. All right, income-led economic growth, which is going to surge the cost of everything. Not, not what I want, but at least this will provide me some innovation and we can go down to fair economy. In fact, that's substantial safety net. I would Oh, God, I would much rather go down. No, no, we're going down. We're going down and sugar. We're going down swinging. The sugar is diabetes in this case. Yes. Okay. With technology that reduces my fuel consumption loss. Like I'm still losing technically, but as we level up our technology, it's actually going to be significantly better as it reduces the cost of everything else. And now next step on near. Wait, no, I have to rent. Oh, oh, I have to do all these. I didn't have to do this in the beginning then. Damn it. All right. Well, fine, fine. Empower the trade unions. We promised our voters for labor rights would be strengthened under administration. We would honor our word by giving power to the country's trade unions. Yes, we will at least do 
some of that. Also, I'm realizing now that Korea has the system, and this is what we're talking about with unification, the Ministry of Unification. Since the end of the Second World War, Korea has been divided nation, ideological polarization, and great power conflict have separated families and hindered the realization of the Korean people's full potential. While older generations still remember a united Korea and yearn for reunification, the memory of a united peninsula is gradually beginning to fade away. Support for reunification determines how much our people will be willing to concede if re go concede in reunification negotiations. It increases at a rate of 0.1% per month and is affected by decisions, focuses, and events if or when reunification takes place. It will need to be kept high to ensure that the country actually stays together. I will work on that later, but I don't want to waste my time trying to improve relations with North Korea right now because we need to focus on actually being able to get everything else done. Fact, wait, hold on. I think I can go some additional power consumption. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can do this. Yes, I can afford the, oh wait, no, that's going to drastically increase the amount of fuel that I'd have to spend. Okay, 145 days. That's actually going to really hurt me. No, no, we're going to have to wait. We can't do anything until we actually reduce the total amount of fuel that we are uh, required to buy. Hey, okay, hold on. We are actually gaining fuel now from everything that we're buying. Okay, that means that potentially I could help myself by allowing for increased fuel. Let's see, how about, oh, wait, no, we're really getting extra stuff here. Hold on, I need more production. Additional fuel, it'll last a year. I can go down to the rate here later. Awesome. Okay, from increased fuel consumption, we have managed to lower down our losses to only half a billion dollars. All right, we are getting there. We are going to be there soon. Actually, wait, hold on. I have a trade deal with Mexico now. Hold up. If I have a trade deal with them, that means potentially I don't have to buy as much fuel from Russia, right? Because Mexico should sell some, don't they? Or at least I thought that they would. Am I missing this? Huh. Yeah, no, Mexico's already selling all of its stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to have to wait then. But with Ratify ILO conventions, that means now I can finally get a fair economy. That is going to actually increase my stability. It will... Oh, God, it's going to increase my taxes. Okay, well, that is unfortunate, but we will get that done and remove the chibbles that are currently ripping apart my economy, it seems. I mean, to be fair, I've been trying to rip them up the entire time, so I mean, it's what happens. In hey, there we go, an economic boom. That is actually wonderful here, I love that. Also, hold on, I just realized this, because of my ideological power, I am technically speaking part of the socialists here with the uh, the Democratic Party that is, uh, that is in power, okay? So we have that going for us, but they have some very unique abilities. I thought that ours was the conservative economic base, but no, that's not the case. The libertarians are the ones that focus more on investment, like in this case, which is what I would be doing there, but the socialists have the power of peaceful diplomacy, where construction speed increases by 25% per level of foreign intervention law that is below limited interventionism. So hold on, it, what, what is limited interventionism? That is, I could technically go up by just going to local security, increase my construction speed by 25%. That is, it's actually really nice. It's not going to affect me right now because I don't have much of an economy to actually utilize, but that is something for the future. And with that, we now have a fair economy that is going to replace the chibbles with the small and medium business owners who love me from everything we've done, and that's going to help me with taxes. It's going to help me with my civilian industry. It's going to help me with literally everything. That's actually awesome. Oh my God. I love that. In fact, even with the increased taxes, it's not going to hurt me all that badly. And because I've been saving my political power the entire time, I can actually go down here and do this. Modest corruption, slight corruption, and then in just a few days, negligible corruption. That's actually going to fix all of our issues, which is awesome. I'm also realizing from this, technically speaking, I didn't even have to do Korean left in the first place. I could have actually done electoral reform and then pushed for more libertarian ideals a libertarian South Korea, if you will. But no, after that, our next step that we're going to need to do is to try and boost our economy a little bit. And actually, I'm realizing I probably could have done middle power diplomacy in the first place, which would increase my political power gain. But I'm going to need to utilize this in order to be able to get more resources. Question is, what exactly? Southern focus? Uh, trade with Africa? Hmm. I can't actually do corporate interest now, I realize, because I don't have Jay Bulls anymore. So this whole path is not going to work for land acquisition. So I guess our focus at this point is just going to be focusing on unifying with North Korea. So why don't we just go ahead and do middle power diplomacy, increase our ability to actually generate some political power, and then we're going to use that political power to hardline focus on taking over, I mean, helping North Korea. Because with that, slight corruption is now negligible corruption. We get rid of that. And Oh my God, I'm still actually running out of fuel. That's, that's a little bit of a problem. Are we in the positives? We are technically speaking in the positives, but it is only based on our fuel consumption right now. I do need to actually buy more oil from Russia. Big thing I need to do is I still need to dig for more resources. Of course, I'm just increasing the amount of steel that I actually have in my nation. But the only thing that I can really do is try to get more right now. It's all that I can do. And at the same time, actually increase relations with North Korea. This is going to cost me half of a political power point, but you know what? It's fine. This will at least help us boost relations here over time. And from that, we focus 
on the Sunshine Policy. When it comes to dealing with the North, Korean left has sought engagement over confrontation. Through the Sunshine Policy, the hope is that the two Koreas will reconcile to the point that the transition to a unified or reunified Korea will be simple and painless. I just hope that to be the case. Because honestly, from this, if we end up taking on North Korea's debt, because I know that North Korea usually ends up running into severe trouble, they are, um, that could actually really hurt us. Korean consumers spend less. No, no, no. Please, for the love of God. Don't, don't hurt me. I'm begging you. I just got this running. Now we're back to fast growth instead of economic boom. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It is going to end up putting us back. In nope, we're actually still okay. Oh, and there goes the spicy event in the United States. Well, listen, we're all about friendliness here right now. No, 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 no. The game is not crashing right now. Please, for the love of God, I have just started investing in all this. You are not doing this to me. I even disabled the DLC. It seems the game just didn't really like me being friendly at the same time the terrorists are attacking. All right, with Sunshine Policy done, that means we can now do, let's see, soften rhetoric. Ah, uh, it's going to piss off the intelligence agency, is it? No, it's not. Negotiations with Korea DPR are more likely to succeed. Hey, okay, wait a minute. All of these things are just going to increase party popularity. I love it. I love it. Well, first things first, we're going to go ahead and work on our industry because the Kaesong Industrial Park is an important symbol of inter-Korean cooperation and the future prospect of reunification. In the meantime, it provides the North Korean government with an important source of foreign currency and South Korean companies with a source of cheap labor. However, some are concerned with the comp that the complex could benefit North Korea's weapons programs. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, guys, just ignore this. Focus on industry. You see, look, look, they now only somewhat hate me. That's nice. A trade agreement with Russia? Yes, please. Thank you. I will gladly take that so I can trade more oil through you. Listen, at this point, Russia hasn't really done anything. All right, guys, we're just going to ignore all the other issues that come into play with this. All right, next up on here, cultural exchanges. This is going to make them more likely to be able to accept our stuff and we can organize joint sports teams. How nice. By fielding joint sporting teams, to international events and featuring North Korean cinema in the South, we can improve the people-to-people -people exchanges between North and South. This will both reduce tension between our two governments and encourage our own people to support reunification. Oh, nice. Collapsing. Oh, no, no, no. I do not need this happening to me right now. Come on. Come on. It's going to hurt things regardless. We'll flood the system with cheap money to make the housing market. Pay no, damn it. No, housing prices have to come down. Stable growth or stagnation? I hope it does not go to stagnation. I really hope it does not go. Nope, stable growth. Okay. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank God. That could have been bad. Technically speaking, we're still maintaining positives. All right, we're, we're, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm actually running out on this. Hold up. We need more fossil fuels. We need more energy. This is actually a problem for us. Okay, that's not good. Yep, I'm now actually losing money again. Thanks. Let's see, pursue peace treaty. No, it needs all these, right? Yeah, all the following. Time to soften rhetoric. And at the same time, organize joint sport team. Yeah, we will do that. We'll screen North Korean films and encourage sympathetic portrayals of the North. All good stuff. All good stuff. Oh, I'm also going to have to buy nuclear fuel. Great. Okay, hold on. That's not good. That's not good at all. Next up on here, wind down propaganda. Propaganda efforts targeting the North are a significant source of resentment in Pyongyang. As a gesture of good faith, we should wind down these operations. Yeah, large. Are you kidding me? I just did this. <sighs> Oh, no, 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 no. I, I can't afford the cost. I can't. Sad. How sad. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Oh, no. My debt is actually going up here again. I'm going to be losing more money now. Thanks. I appreciate it. At least I'm actually finding some resources so I can stop buying so much and I don't need much fuel. And since we have wound down our propaganda, that means we can finally pursue a peace treaty. Let's see, is this going to give an event? Korean peace talks begin. The results of the negotiations will be shown in 30 days. But hold on, if I do this path, it will increase the chance of stuff succeeding, right? No, this is all based on spy agencies that doesn't actually do anything. Nope, we can only pursue peace treaties like this. Let's do it. Let's organize more stuff for sports, screen North Korean films, sympathetic cease propaganda. Hmm. Let's do that. And negotiations with uh, DPR are more likely to succeed. Do I want to do that? It will decrease my popularity. No, you know, we're, we're going to do it. No more propaganda leaflets. No more. The election is ramping up and I, uh... <laughs> I think we might win this. Just just uh, call it a hunch. Democratic Party reelected. The Korean voters have decided to give Kim, Jai, uh, Kim, Kim Dae Jung's party another term. However, as Kim Dae Jung has reached the end of his final term, they will give way for a new leader. Yes, with 150 more political power, we get them reelected. And who are we getting now? Ro Mo Hyun. Hey, okay. All right, I'll take that. I will take that. Whoa, what happened to my stability? Hold up, why did that suddenly drop so badly? What what is what is what is going on there for my election? I guess from the previous guy who was in charge that that 
that's where that all came from. Are you kidding me? Wait, why did my taxes? What is happening here? How good was the guy that I previously had? Oh no. All right, that is pursue the peace treaty. That is done on this end. I am still losing fuel. And I suppose, uh, proposed unity government does not have the modifier fragile armistice proposal south led unification. Okay, so we have all that. What can I do next? I suppose the only real thing, since I'm not focusing on military at all for any of these measures, is to try and actually build up my standing in the world, maybe investments? Let's do the southern focus. The South and Southeast Asia are home to some of the fastest developing countries in the world, and we won't have a significant presence there in order to actually be able to help us. Let's do it. Startup company acquisition. Oh God, okay, hold on, I'm not spending more money. No, I want the business owners to like me. Absolutely. Now quickly before my money runs out, I actually have the opportunity to restart peace talks. So let's go ahead and do that. The North has rebuffed our peace offer, but that does not mean we cannot try again. However, we should first try to do what we can to prevent a repeat of the failure of the previous talk. Oh. Ah, it failed because I haven't spent enough time focusing on trying to build up relations. Okay, that explains it. I can try to do it again here after saving up some political power. I also realize that if I go down the Southern Focus, that means I can actually get the ASEAN and with their mediation, that should help me with North Korea. Okay, so that's where we're actually gonna shoot down then. In the meantime, every so often, because I have this political power, I just need to go and continuously lower my war support by uh, organizing things. Through supporting developing nations around us, this will allow us to be able to exert our influence and hopefully, once everything is done here, actually be able to um, become more involved in them. If I don't spiral out of control with my debt, in fact, maybe I should actually get rid of things. How much am I spending? A lot on welfare still. It's only basic pensions. How is that happening? It's probably defense. I'm spending too much on defense, maybe. No, still, that's not going to actually save me very much. Oh, oh my lord, that's why. What the absolute absolute hell. It's the consumption. I'm not generating anything. Oh my god, it's all of my nuclear power plants. <gasps> That's why my economy crashed. I'm not, I have no nuclear reactor. God damn it. Okay, give me a second. I'm not Russia. I don't have an infinite source of nuclear stuff. I have a 30% deficit. <laughs> oh my god. No wonder that hurt me. All right, Russia, can I please buy your stuff? Yes. All right, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna spend $2 billion, but that'll actually increase the reactor grade material that I have. Uh, I'm gonna need that. I'm also probably gonna need others while I do this because uh, that, that, I mean, that should, yeah, I'm still hurting, but it's not gonna be hurting as bad as it was before. Yeah, see, that's why I was losing so much money, damn it. Oh, okay. Well, we're, we're gonna figure this out. In fact, I know I'm taking out more loans and I'm okay right now, but I do need to buy more reactor grade stuff. Maybe some France. Yes, we'll do that maybe from the Netherlands, yes. And once we actually have that, that means that we should be okay here on fuel consumption for a while. Let's see, one of the big things is I have a massive surplus of equipment that I don't need all of this. Could I could I transfer my small arms elsewhere? I mean, I know I can't really put it on the market because I disable the whole thing with arms against tyranny, which sucks. Otherwise, I absolutely would do that. Is there anyone at war that I could that I could do this for? Congo? Yeah, Congo, you're at war. Maybe, maybe I can transfer stuff to you. That'll make you happy, right? No, world tension is not high enough. Great. Thank you. I can't even get rid of the equipment here unless I destroy it. Well, okay. How about we just do that then? We'll just destroy a bunch of the old guns, things that we don't need since I can't get rid of them, and that's perfectly fine, you know? Destroy all of the stuff, my self propelled artillery. I mean, I'm still making all these other things here. I don't need to destroy all these, but, you know, I can I can get rid of the majority, I think. M40, oh my god, I have so many patents. Yeah, I don't need this. Nope, destroy all those excess tanks, and that should be fine. What about our fighters? Do we have a decent number of those? We do, actually, and I am producing a decent number. But you know what? We're going to conserve those. It's fine. That actually should reduce the amount of spending we have, right? Oh my- Yay, okay, okay, it did provide a little bit, not much but it did actually increase by about, uh, you know, 0.1 billion. That's fine. If we can beeline our way down here to get relations with India and then sell weapons to everyone else, then, hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe we can actually make some money then and invest that. And now that we've done all this, the likelihood of accepting peace with North Korea is high. So let's restart peace talks. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Are we going to achieve peace? Yes. Is it going to happen? Korean peace agreement signed July 20th, 2003. My friends, we've done it. Following an improvement in relations between the two Koreas, Rome Yun Hyun and South and Kim Jong Il of the North have agreed to replace the tenuous armistice agreement with a formal peace treaty settlement or a formal peace settlement. This treaty has finally put an end to the state of hostilities that has existed between the two Koreas since the Korean War. Both leaders have expressed hopes that this development will set the peninsula on a path towards reunification, though some observers have expressed doubt that the uh, about the willingness to pursue reunification on both sides. Yes, it's going to weaken my war sport, which doesn't really matter in here. The liberal parties are doing great, so that's going to help me. And I can still organize sports 
teams, North Korean films, and get some sympathy. The more that we boost this up, the better. In fact, what I would honestly do at this point here, if I can unify with North Korea, if we can actually get this, maybe, maybe I should start investing in them. Could I do so? Cost me 8 billion, but the more that I invest in them, the more it'll help me eventually, actually. I don't have the income for all of that, but you know what? We can invest in roads and, and that should increase my investment so I can actually get something. Let's do it. No? Really? You're gonna refuse? Come on. Why would you do that? Oh boy, I still need to buy a whole bunch of uh, uh, nuclear equipment. That's, that's not good for me. That's not good for me at all, actually. Oh my God. I could have been increasing this consumption the entire time. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to do that fast. And we're going to need to buy the nuclear material from literally everyone around us. With the National Highways done, that means smartphone manufacturing. We're going to invest even more in there. But uh, yeah, hopefully this does something for us at least. The thing that sucks is that I could have deleted my military a long time ago uh, if I knew that North Korea was actually going to be able to peacefully unify with me. But I don't know that's going to happen, meaning I have had to pay for the military the entire time and I don't want to. Hopefully, though, I can get some money back by selling weapons. It's not like I need them anymore, after all. The big thing is that I am still running out of nuclear grade material. This is not good. I will actually have to take out a loan. And I probably should have done this from the very beginning to build an enrichment facility that could have actually helped me, but I didn't do that. Whoa, hey, hold up, hold up. I can propose Southland unification. Hey, wait a minute, we can actually do this. Propose a unity government. Hold up. Leaders North are unlikely to agree to a deal that would seem that they remove from power and potentially punish for their past actions. A unity government between North and South is the best way to pursue the cause of Korean reunification. Okay, so we could do that because they do not want to accept a low. Okay, so that's probably not going to work, meaning I could at least try the medium stuff, right? Is there anything I can do to increase successive chances here? Ah, here we go. Okay, wind down US joint exercises. Okay, so if we go down to this side, then that means that by us achieving our own independence and not being seen as a puppet of the United States, North Korea is more likely to actually be willing to work with us. Okay, so peace in East Asia, that's what we're going to do. Hey, all of these powers agreed to an arms deal. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, so that is done. That means I can actually produce something, right? Build enrichment facility. We're going to get that done, which I just did. Did that, does it take time? Happened. I know that I was building it. Constructing enrichment facility, not active. How long does that take to do? Cease the enrichment facility construction. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, ignore the demands, Russia. Really? Russia gains toppled government war goal? No, we only want reactor grade material. That's all that we, we want. Because, okay, revisiting the alliance. For decades, exaggerated fears of a North Korean invasion has forced the Republic of Korea into a dependent relationship with the U.S. We've been forced to pay for their protection, put up with the vulgar behavior of their troops, and to suffer the brutality of U.S.-backed dictators. Korea will tolerate this one-sided neo-imperialistic relationship no longer. <laughs> okay, yeah. Screw you, U.S. I think. Yeah. And the next step after that is to wind down U.S. joint exercises. Because military exercises with the U.S. serve little purpose other than to unnecessarily antagonize the North, we should push for a reduction in the scale of this. Yes. We are we are so peaceful, my friends. We are so good. I'm just waiting for the end of this when I still get invaded. So that, that's, I'm guessing. I'm guessing right now. Our next step is to secure wartime control because since the Korean War, the United States has maintained operational control over our armed forces in the event of a war with North Korea. This is unacceptable for a sovereign nation like the Republic of Korea, even if it means that the U.S. Republic of the Korea alliance will not be as effective if a war breaks out. Yeah, we don't want to actually let that happen here in the first place. So this will give us more control. It'll make our party more popular. And the next step after that, we'll actually make it so that North Korea is more likely to work with us. Laos asked, no, I can't afford this crap. Are you kidding me? No, no, we're not doing that, buddy. I'm still desperately having to buy all of my stuff as it is. And hopefully in 14 days, that means I should hopefully, hopefully for the love of God, not face nearly as many issues for my nuclear reactor construction. Cost us $25 billion, but if we don't have to keep on buying reactor grade material, that's probably something I should have done from the very beginning. Okay, that's done. No, it says it failed. No, it succeeded, right? Yeah, because we spent it. We built it. We actually did the thing. Now, what are we actually producing? Weekly production of material, zero. No, that shouldn't be the case. We should actually be able to make things. We're gonna have to refresh that. United States has less than 10% influence. Are you kidding? me. Okay, hold on. We can't do this quite yet. Attack influence from the United States. And that should actually reduce that down a little bit. I probably have to do one more thing before I can start on my next part. Engage with Africa, turn to the Middle East, bridging Eurasia. Let's do this. We're going to have to probably work with Russia, unfortunately. Hold on. Am I not producing anything. Why am I not producing anything? I should have nuclear material. I have been buying this the entire time. We're producing this stuff. Does it take time to start up? Like, I'm gonna have to keep on buying at this rate. What is going on? Why am I not producing anything? 
what, what is what is going on here? I already did the focus for an enrichment facility. Unfortunately for me, I have to go up to free emergency treatment and spend even more stuff on healthcare because, oh my God, I'm losing money. I'm going to go so far into debt and I, I, I have to do this in order to maintain this because otherwise the people will still radicalize against me. It's all right, social spending. I'm also going to have to go up on that. So we're going to need to go up to substantial. Oh my God, that's 1.4 billion. That is so much. That is so much. I don't, oh, how much am I in a hole? The answer is 1.5 billion. Okay, well, can we do anything taxes wise? Can I, can I help that at all? How about we raise the corporate tax by one? In fact, actually, no, let's do that by two. 0.4 billion? Yeah, it's still a bit of a deficit. Okay, where's most of our income actually coming from? Corporate makes a hell of a lot more. I really wish that there's things that I could have done from the very beginning that actually would have been investments into South Korean industry, but there actually hasn't been. That's the crazy thing. Like normally there's an industrial path where you can kind of invest into varying different things, but from everything I've been seeing with South Korea, you don't actually have that. Like it, it doesn't exist. Like, is there anything that I'm missing elsewhere here? No, it's all based on Korean reunification. There's literally nothing here. So really, unfortunately for me, the only thing I can really do is increase taxes. Like I have to, like that, that's all that I can do right now in order to try and sustain anything, which means I will probably even producing less, but it's all that I can do. Either way, with all that done, I now finally should be able to do Korean security in Korean hands. And with that, Korean security is in Korean hands. Wonderful. That means we go down here. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, look at that. We've done every single thing that we need in order to get them to accept. You know what? Let's do it. Let us do it. We are going to propose South-led unification because you know what? From our growth figures and to our standard of living, it is clear that the South Korean model is the way forward for the Korean Peninsula. We must insist that we should be the ones to lead Korea towards a bright post-reunification future. That's right. And all of this, all of this accomplished in the span of like five years. We've actually done remarkably well as Korea. Propose South-led unification done. And what is going to happen? What are we, we going to see? What are we going to see? Anything? No? Nothing? Nothing happening yet? Maybe got to wait a little bit longer? Anything? Nothing? There's no, no events, nothing that pops up. What did I miss? Oh, no, no, the North has refused our terms for reunification. No, no, it said that it had a high chance. Okay, well, what about a unity government, all right? What if I, what if I do that? I didn't want to, but it seems that that is probably gonna have to happen here. A sad day for the, really? Why? Why would you do this? It says that you have a high chance. Do I just need to keep on spamming this over and over again? Why is this not working? I've spent this entire time doing this, damn it. If it says that I have a high chance, it should actually allow me to do so. Wait, no, they're inviting the president. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe if I just give it a little bit of time, they will actually do it because they're gonna plan on inviting me. Yeah, they keep on refusing, but the more time that passes, the more that they complete these things, right? Yeah, invite Southern performers. They are going down the path to reunification. So I guess maybe if I just wait a bit of time, then I'll be able to do it again. God damn, I've been waiting this entire time to do this game. <laughs> what are you doing? What have I been working towards? Why? Now, in the meantime, while we wait for North Korea to actually do something, we just try to develop and assist Africa. Nice, calm, good stuff. No problems here. No, it is still... <sighs> It is still not working. It is still not, are you freaking kidding me? How has nothing actually appeared? W what is even going on? North, okay. Now North Korea is proposing a unitary government. Are okay? Well, I, let's buy foreign goods. I don't even know anymore. I am actually pissed. Uh, this, the entire game, I have been doing this. But as South Korea, you have no way to build an industry except by actually trying to build things. Everything is based off your unification with the North. You can't even do any of that really, it seems, because even with the chances of being high, everything gets refused for some reason. What is going on? What am I doing? Our response to North Korea's peace officer. We, we will agree to a treaty. Yeah, we, we already did this. What do you mean? We, we already did this. We, 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 we literally already did this. Korean banks face of course. Why? Why? No. Provide bailouts, please. You're not going to hurt me. You're not going to hurt me. No. Uh-uh. Foreign procurement is done. Next step. Uh conscription policy. I don't even care anymore. North Korea should have now proposed a unity government. So I guess we got to see what, what what will happen. Will I, will I get that in 30 days? There. Oh, oh my God. It, it happens. North Korea proposes reunification. Seeking to capitalize on unprecedented improvements in relations between the two Koreas, the North is offering to cooperate with us in order to reunify our divided nation. The North, understanding our concerns about reunification, has offered to share power post-reunification through a uni unity government, incorporating elements of the South as well. Um, okay. 
Uh, let's see. Gains imminent reunification support. Uh, yes. Let's let's do it. Okay. We 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 have a unity government, right? Now with that done, hold on, hold on. Shouldn't we shouldn't we have an option? Shouldn't we get something? Shouldn't we should we not get something to be able to do here? No. Pay way for unification. No. Korea DPR. One of the following must be true. Has agreed to South Korea led reunification. No. No. Do not tell me that they are going to get the option. No. 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 We're not reunifying under North Korea. We are We are not going to reunify under North Korea. No, that's not going to happen. Oh my God, another bailout. Are you fucking kidding me? What is going on, game? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. there it is. Proposed unity government. Hold on, hold on. So I now get the option? Why do I now get the option? I thought we already did. I thought we already did perform. What is, this tree is so broken. North Korea, wait, wait, okay, okay, hold up. Hold on, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, guys, it's happening. The North has agreed for a terms of reunification. Following extensive negotiation, the North has agreed to begin working towards the reunifying of our two countries. With the relations between these Korea is stabilized and reintegration on the peninsula of the horizon, the future of the Korean people has never looked brighter. <gasps> we got it. I'm gonna stop doing traditional values. I don't care about that. No, no, no. Pave the way for reunification. Let's do it. I have no more support whatsoever anymore. This is like the dumbest thing that I've done in here so far. This has been a pure diplomatic game where I haven't been able to literally do anything. There's no focuses Korea gets that actually boosts its industry. You can't do anything like that. You invest in other countries and you just get stuck with a bunch of bullshit. And oh no, no, no. This is gonna completely break the nation. This is gonna break the nation so badly. Here it is. Reunification. It is done. <laughs> oh my god. Korea. Korea is reformed. We are no longer South Korea. We are just Korea. Korea is reunified. There's not even a description for this. Like, they couldn't even think about what to say for this focus. Oh my god, that took way longer than it should have. I should have unified like two years earlier. And oh lord. Oh, we have mass migration and a divided military and uneven. Okay, this is really bad. Actually, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Everything that is not currently assigned to anything, which is the massive army that North Korea has. We're just going to go ahead and uh, delete that right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully that won't cause... Oh my... <laughs> Oh, huh. that's not good. My friends, it is now two days later, and if I look tired, that is because I spent the last two days reconstructing my house after the whole flood damage thing. And there's still more for me to do. And so speaking of rebuilding things, back to Korea. Okay, let's see. Where I left off, I had just deleted my army, and I was still... Oh my god, I'm still losing so much here. Okay, this is gonna be... Oh my god, I'm gonna go so far into debt. This is not gonna be good. We're in stagnation right now, which that is that is fun. Okay, uh, corruption, still not bad. Nothing in here is bad right now. And so I'm need to fix that. Uh, let's see here. Logistics, I'm sure that I just got a whole bunch of equipment after deleting all those military units. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't need all of this here, I think. Yep, just go in here, destroy every single thing. I'm not producing any recon tanks. That doesn't actually matter. Infantry fighting. Yeah. And there we go. Destroying all that equipment should possibly, probably help. And in the meantime, what resources did I get? I just got a little bit of aluminum. That's pretty much it. Oh, hey, no, I got some oil. Hey, hey, that is actually something. All right. That means I don't have to buy aluminum. And on top of that, I actually get some oil. Yay. Oh, how nice. How nice. Quick, let's lower ourselves down from limited interventionism to local security. And that means I don't actually have to do anything around the world at all. And simultaneously, it'll boost my construction. Now, let's see how bad this affects us. Reunification shock begins to take hold. The great nation of Korea has been reunited after many decades of painful separation. However, our task of reintegrating the two halves is far from over. Many on both sides of the 38th parallel are dissatisfied with the way that reunification took place. And the economic costs of reunifying uh, two vastly different states are quickly becoming apparent. Should we fail in our task, to reunify the country, we may face the disillusion of our newborn nation. I literally don't make enough goods now here uh, in order to be able to get a research slot. Are you kidding? It's going to destroy a research slot of mine. Yep, we are still losing a good amount here. In fact, what is all my expenditure even coming down? Oh my god, it's all the welfare. I became a social welfare state. I became the social welfare state for my developed country. Oh my god. That means I won't actually be able to do anything here on the ground floor, is it? Does North Korea have literally any fat? No. Hold up. Hold up. I reunified with North Korea. 
They have no factories built whatsoever. How did they do anything? What is going on? They have no, they don't even have any military factories. What, 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 what is, what is happening? All right, there's Korea reunited. Not that it means I can actually do anything here for myself. Um, I suppose the first thing that we have to do is probably economy. Wait, add United Korea, which allows a United Korea to alleviate the worst of the effects of reunification. Okay, yes, let's do it. The economic system between North and South are completely different. This has led to serious confusion during production. What do we do? Quickly, one of the first things I'm going to do, since I have all this political power and literally nothing to spend it on, uh, we're going to just... <clears throat> See if we can invest into the Bank of China over here. All right, now the issue of an economy. So we basically get three different options, it seems, for each thing for what we end up doing. You can go down the planned economy, support key industries for like, you know, a mixed kind of bag, or unleash the market with pure libertarian ideals. I didn't go down the pure libertarian path, and there's no reason to go down plan development. So I suppose go down the basic beginnings in here because protectionism, yes. Oh, ooh, actually that'll help me with taxes. Yes, we're doing all this. Support key industries like North Korean potatoes and Samsung phones. In the meantime, since I can't actually build or do anything, wait, no, I need 75 political power. Okay, hold on, limited protection, wait a little bit of time, and then wait, the Bank of China is not open. What is going on? Do I need more political power? It says more than 75. I think this might be broken here. Okay, we're gonna wait a little bit of time and then we should be able to click it. All right, limited protection done, and now subsidize the vulnerable. That is actually going to really help us with uh, reducing taxes, it seems. And also, actually, why is this cutting back on the social spending? I guess I'm getting so many negative effects from everything. Oh, 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 I'm getting so many negative effects from all the things that I'm doing that that's why this is happening. Hey, here we go. Okay, now the Bank of China is open. Go ahead and select that. Yes, it's gonna really piss off the Chinese, but I do not care because what that means is I can steal a whole bunch of their factories and actually start building my own here wonderful really just build up massive amounts of political power that you can't spend anything with and then invest it into like china and india and you can steal all of their industry it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful really pisses them off but it's beautiful here we go a stable economy oh my god wow that just gives me a huge boost of cash I actually do really need that considering everything that I'm losing. Oh, whoa, hey, hold on, hold on. I'm also spending way too much on basically everything. Hey, hey, okay, let's cut down spending. Let's cut down spending. Welfare is my biggest spend, right? Yes, please, let's go ahead and drop that. Drop healthcare. Listen, guys, guys, it's just, it's simple sacrifices, okay? It's simple sacrifices. You just, you just gotta deal with it. We'll keep education high, but then police spending also drop that a bit. Yeah, that's half a billion dollars. I'll take that. What are we at now? We're making money now. Hey, okay, I'll take that. With this, I'll actually be able to start paying off my debts here, which is pretty nice. Oh, wait, hold on. I actually clicked the wrong button and paid everything. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna just let that be as it is. Maybe I should have actually waited so I wouldn't have to take more loans. Nah, it's fine. Next step, politics. Italy proposes tech deal. You know what? Sure, I'll take that. Thank you. Now, rule through strength. <laughs> <laughs> or sequenced democracy. Okay, that's gonna hurt my political power and stability, but it's gonna give me weekly stability and research speed. Hey, okay, I will take that. An open regime, fair elections. We're going nice. We're gonna be a nice, nice, good Korea. We're gonna teach the North Koreans the power of social democracy, which is nice because now they'll actually be able to say things like, I hate the government without disappearing. Oh no, my piggy bank is broken again. Okay, hold on. We're just gonna keep on needing to monitor this and every time wait for, wait, no. Wait for exploitation. Oh yeah, I need to keep on monitoring this and gradually exploiting China over time. Beautiful, get that done. Next step, civic education. Oh my God, wow, that's going to actually fix the government, but it's gonna hurt a lot of my stability. Oh my God, my stability is terrible. Why? Oh, reunification shocks and mass migration. Okay, that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. And increased consumer confidence. They love the fact that the North Koreans are serving as cheap labor to produce everything. You know, I have the money. I might as well try to just continuously dig for more resources. Let's keep on doing that. The more resources, that we get, the better that our economy is going to be. And even if it only adds a little bit of production of something for, you know, steel or rubber or whatever, I mean, that would be great, actually. All right, strength it. Oh, are you kidding me? The economy just improved. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it. Please. Why would you do this to me? Housing prices have to come down. After all, we, uh, we got those nice cheap shacks out in Pyongyang that are affecting things. Oh, as a result, Tsar in, or unfortunately, neither of the two main parties were able to gain a majority of the National Assembly. What do you mean? What do you mean? Of course, what, what, how is this not a majority? Don't tell me that the entire time I thought that I was winning the election, that whole thing is a random chance. I have 78% of the vote. How is that not the majority? Okay, a stable government then. All right, with a stable government done, that means the issue of migration can now be addressed. The economic gap between the North and the South has led to an influx of refugees from the North. What do we do with them? Do we limit the free... <laughs> 
Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You limit freedom of movement, and what this is going to end up doing is just going to separate North and South Korea, but under two different, like, circumstances. What? Let's see, do we want to limit their movement or welcome them? No, we want the cheap labor. Cheap labor, no border exists. There is no border. God, I feel like a college student stating that right now. All right, next up on here, address language barrier. Oh, wait, no, I can choose both of these. Okay, we're going to fix this issue here, which is going to be nice. Yeah, for those of you who are not actually aware, there is a difference in language now because the like North and South Korea have been separated for approximately like 70, 80 years at this point, there are actual language differences between the two nations. And it's, it's very interesting to see how that plays out. Do we want to standardize the language then, which is going to increase our base stability or increase our political power by celebrating the diversity of it? Yeah, we're going to standardize things. Who am I kidding? At the same time, I think we have an idea of launching our own Belt and Road Initiative, if you will. That seems nice. Next, emphasize ideology, which, oh, wait, nope, hold on. That is still playing. Or ethnicity. Definitely ethnicity. We want that Western support and more popularity boost. And with that, we finally have a stable society. Excellent. And finally, now, an issue of security. The KPA and the ROKAF were trained in completely different ways. How should we integrate the armed forces after our reunification? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's the United Kingdom declared war on Ireland. Hold up. Really? Really? Ireland was puppeted. The UK went full monarchist. I have not seen... Queen Elizabeth II, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, God. Next up on here, depoliticize the officers. That's going to allow us to get more experience gain, right? Wait, what is the other one here? Maximum command power. Ooh, daily command power. That is nice. But no, we want more army experience and everything. The military opposes our government. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, smooth things over, increase... Oh, okay, I can't increase spending. Actually, that would help me. It would make them happy, and simultaneously, it means that I wouldn't have to deal with nearly as much crap in here. Okay, you know what? You know what? I can do that. I can do that. We can go with a little bit of military spending here for a year. Once again, I'm trying to build another enrichment facility because I still, for whatever reason, do not have money or... It, fuel. I don't know why. I should be producing it. I'm not producing it. Let's see. After the DDR programs, I had the option to demobilize the Northerners or demobilize the Southerners. Uh, yeah, no, we're definitely, we're definitely getting rid of the Northerners. Cheap labor for the factories, my friends. Cheap labor for the factories. Construction. Philippines? Why would you refuse construction? I'm trying to help you. Damn it. What is wrong with you? All right, now with that, we have the option of a new military, which is going to increase my defense on core territory and division defense, or design the Korean People's Army, which is, oh, speed and breakthrough. Yes, get rid of all the Northerners. We're going to have put them into the factories. And with that, we have a stable military that's going to help me completely fix things here with Korea. And with that, once that is done, we can finally rejuvenate Korea, which is, <laughs> I need that, please. And with that, Korea is rejuvenated and I get several options here. Okay, so I can lead to China, the United States, or preserve neutrality. So if I go with China, then that means, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, ho, 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 I can threaten Japan, I can do all this other stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm not, I'm not emerging or anything else like that or nationalist. Globalize Korea with the United States and that means, well, serving sovereignty, it, not really doing anything here, just really super friendly stuff. Ooh, export economy, I like that. And international investments. I like that too. But Korea resplendent. This, wait, this focus currently has no effect. Changes in the world situation may affect this. We have national strength if we go and preserve neutrality and do our own thing, which allows us to start fortifying, battle hate controversy, retake our inherited territory. Ethnic irredentism. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. This allows me to do things against China. This allows me to do things against Russia and Japan. <laughs> hey. And then this is just like investments in Africa and everything else that is around us. Ah, no, I think we're going down national strength. I think we're going to preserve our neutrality and do what it is that we want. And would you look at that? People appreciate the thought. Increase consumer confidence. Finally, that's what I like to see. In the meantime, I better continue to invest in all the things around me and build up a little bit of a surplus. Construction refused. Mongolia. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. What about Kazakhstan? Can I invest in lots of territory over here? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, except my money. Britain reaches for South Africa? Oh no. Okay, the nationalist path for the UK looks kind of spicy. That looks like a fun one. If you want to see us do a nationalist path for the for the United Kingdom here and try to reclaim the empire in the 2000s, then go ahead and like this video. If this video gets, I'd say, 7,000 likes, I will do that. Yugoslavia declares on Bulgaria. Wait, is that Bulgaria commie? Oh my lord, they are. What? 
<laughs> I didn't see this. No, they're Western Outlook. Why are they? What is this? Oh shoot, I just realized I actually won't be able to do this because I'm Western Outlook. That's not actually gonna be able to work here. Oh, and this requires all the following. Yeah, that's that's not gonna it's not gonna happen. Damn, okay. All right. So I guess instead of national strength, I am doing my own thing and not being beholden to the United States. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of that and lose our progress, but I will go down a globalized Korea because I, I wanna get involved. I wanna do things. Finally, this is the first, this is the first focus in this entire thing that is giving me any buildings whatsoever. I haven't gotten anything, I think. <laughs> the only reason I even have as many factories as I do is specifically because I've been stealing all of them from China. That's it. Whoa, wait, Yugoslavia was, Serbia was, but Serbia, what? They split Serbia into two and puppeted twice. Why? What is, what is this? Bulgaria was part of NATO, so when they declared war, who's, who's this puppet? Hold on, hold on. Wait, Serbia is a puppet of Turkey, and Kosovo, Serbia, is a puppet of Hungary. It's not even Bulgaria. Next up on here, export-driven growth. Let's go ahead and increase our economy. Oh my lord, United Kingdom, what are you doing? Okay, so you, you declared war on Gambia, you puppeted them, and then you immediately declare war on Benin? Oh my god, the UK is trying to bring back its African empire. Bro, this is too funny. We, we may want to really try that path here in the future. Oh my god, they're going after Sinin or, or, or Sierra Leone. <laughs> UK, what are you doing? Now seek greater influence in the... Wait, no, this thing doesn't actually do anything. What, what is the point in doing a focus that has no effects whatsoever? Sierra Leone liberated and puppeted at the same time. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Extract favorable terms, add neocolonialism. More political power, more resource gain, and less taxes. Yes, thank you. Venezuela is now declaring war on Colombia. What is happening in this world? Now we can seek a security council seat. Unlock seek UN security council decision. Oh, oh, if Korea can actually achieve some great power status, that would be great. In fact, my friends, I'm realizing now at this point that I'm actually earning more from interest on my investments than I am from what I would be paying on my debt. So at this point, I'm just incentivized to be able to pay more. Let's build up the world. Let's support the world. Korean investments. And here we are. Korea resplendent. Remove Korean neutrality, which, yeah, that's going to hurt me there. And it will replace human right first with Korea resplendent. More political power gain, more recruitable population, less stability, but gives me weekly stability. Hey, less attack, but more attack and defense. You know what? Fine, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wait, is there literally anything else to do past? No, that's the end. That's the end of Korea's tree? Are you kidding me? Stark up boom, keep up the boom. Sure, let's, let's to do that here. Venezuela was puppet. Wait, hold on. Didn't, didn't Venezuela declare war on Colombia? <laughs> oh, you idiot. You idiot. You went. Oh, oh, Colombia went emerging. They're communist. <laughs> Everyone gets to share in the white powder of glory. Well, I guess there's literally nothing for me to do there here now. I like I, I, I straight up can't do anything. Except try to modernize my army, fix all these. But I mean, what, what is this? Th what is this going to do for me? It's not going to do anything for me because I have nothing to really attack or spend it on now, do I? So you know what? Fine. Let's demand reparations from Japan. We have not forgotten the crimes that Japan inflicted against us during the colonization of our country and their subsequent exploitation and oppression. We must remind the Japanese that until they properly atone for what they did, we they cannot enjoy diplomatic relations. That's right. More startup money requested. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yes, support our people. That's fine. Let's uh, let's just demand reparations from the Japanese to pay for that now, shall we? Oh my God, the United States. John McCain won the election. <laughs> and they're in the positives on, how did they? The Republicans balance the budget. Oh my God. How will the Japanese respond? Do they even respond? Let's see. One day we will have justice because following weeks of antagonistic rhetoric from Seoul and pressure by Korean activists, Chung Dong Young has called upon Japan to pay reparations to the survivors of Japanese war crimes committed during the Second World War. Japan, which maintains that the matter was settled between its government and the South Korea during the rule of authoritarian strongman Park Chung Hee, has predictably refused to consider paying reparations. While the affair has failed to result in compensation for Korean victims, it has led to a strengthening of Chung Dong's political position, and many Koreans are rallying around him. With this, I guess we can start to defend our claims. And next up on here, economic showdown. Gains Korea, Japan, trade war. Because it's enough enough. We cannot continue conducting business as usual with the Japanese while they refuse to acknowledge their crimes. That's right. With our economic showdown, it means, um, well, I can't actually do anything in here, I'm realizing. Huh. What also sucks that I'm finding about Korea is that 
even if I did all these varying things, they're like, oh, the largest shipyard in the world. This increases my influence, right? But this doesn't count as an investment. You don't actually get to invest in three shipyards and then that increases your international investment. Korea just gets completely shafted and unable to do anything. That sucks, actually. Like I've done pretty much everything it is that I kind of want to do in here. Like maybe from all the influence, from all the investments that I've put into you know, the Philippines, I could just like go over here and increase this up a little bit and then turn them into a puppet. Yeah, okay, I got the Philippines as a puppet now. Awesome, because at the same time reform our politics and like, well, actually no, I don't even need to do that in here. We're already doing a decent amount. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna concentrate on, I don't, I don't need to do a single focus, literally nothing. We're just gonna to get some puppets and then try to maybe integrate those by just going down here to the autonomy thing. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Neocolonialism, I guess. Yeah, Osama bin Laden gets killed. Interesting. Okay, well, we're just going to go ahead and try and invest in as many territories around us as we can, and then hopefully absorb those as time goes on. All right, next up on the shopping block... Indonesia. Sure. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with all this. All right. I just, I, I, don't, I don't even know. Oh my God. Japan has huge amounts of investments and funds. Holy crap. How strong is this? Okay. Japan, Japan. I take, I take it back. Okay. I, I want us to be friends. Can we, can we be friends? Uh, I'm probably going to run out of political power if I do this. I need to get more. Increase cons- Oh my god, guys. Economic boom. Are you kidding me? That's even more construction for us. And my friends, we stopped exploiting China a long time ago. Do you know why? Because I realized something. I realized something that I probably should have done from the very beginning rather than focusing all of my efforts on China. Now that we've completed the focus tree and we only have to suppress subjects and we are doing so for the Philippines and uh, for Indonesia, I realized- Wait, hold on. There's another Western power that is significantly bigger than any of those that I can affect. Hmm. I just- just need to balance the influence to get you to 80, please. Aha, with a little bit of investment, that means, hey, uh, United States, how does it feel? Ah. <laughs> uh... Beautiful. The Koreans bought out the election. I'm literally investing all of my office buildings into the Philippines, just like a modern Amazon. The war in Iraq begins in 2012. What? <laughs> I wasn't realizing at this point, uh, because I've gone down the Western path and there isn't really anything for me to just attack and declare war on anybody, I, at this point, can't really do anything. Just invest. Also, how does the United States declare war on Iraq when they're my puppet? How does that happen? How does that happen? I didn't give permission for that. Major financial institution fails. Of course. Of course it does. Of course it does. Why would that ever happen? Inject the money then. Subject may soon raise its autonomy. How? United States, because you are fighting? Really? No. 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 You're not going to pull that bullshit just because you've invaded and done stuff over here. Kurdistan declares war on Iraq. Really? As soon as that happens? Isn't? What the fuck? What is even going on over here? Saddam. Saddam, buddy. Oh, my lord. Iraq is now puppeted by Kurdistan. <laughs> oh, this world is so ironic. And now, finally, we can start annexing puppets. Philippines, let's go ahead and get you. Yes, it is going to hurt me and probably plunge me horribly into debt here for a while, but we will deal with it. It is fine. Because I can delete some military units. That should be perfectly okay. And, oh my god, there went all my investments, at least for a while. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to deal with this here. But that at least managed to secure me a large supply of rubber as well as oil. Ooh, I won't have to buy as much anymore. And a stock market boom. See, people like colonialism. See, now that is what I like to see. All right, we're actually able to do this here now. Time to build a new Korean highway system. Indonesia? Yoink. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that means that little old Korea now finally has some colonies of its own. Wonderful. Not that I need literally any parts of this military whatsoever, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, I should not have bought that. I'm actually realizing this is this is way more than I am making here from any interest. Okay, that's not good. That's not good at all. We need to pay down that debt, Sonny. And less healthcare for people of the, well, former third world, I guess, but no longer. I've also lost research slots over the course of this game just by virtue of how much population I've taken in now and how I have to raise back up again. Fun. And with that, February of 2014, you know what? All is made right with the world. We have now annexed, as Korea, the United States. <laughs> Samsung now reigns supreme. We gain cores on the entirety of all this. I have no subjects anymore, so I can't actually do anything 
else. I can't declare war on Japan. I can't do anything. We've gone down the path of neutrality, but in the process of going down the path of neutrality, we've um uh fixed things over here, so to speak. How bad am I hurting over here now? Oh, oh my God. Are you, are you serious? How would I, how am I making this much money? Oh my God. It's because I annexed the United States. The United States actually has development. So with my low taxes or spending, that means I'm making a bunch. <laughs> oh, oh, this is how we drown the world. This is how we absolutely drown the world. Japan, buddy, thank you for accepting all of my investments in here. Uh, let me just, you know, yeah, so yeah, it seems like enough. Mm, return the tide on you. And yeah, yeah, Korea has now puppeted Japan. We're going to gradually annex them. In fact, I've been building up a large surplus of convoys from all these annexations. Can I just, can I just, can I just do this? No, I can't send you anything because despite the fact that you're my puppet, simultaneously, um, my, my, my tension isn't high enough or I, 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 I don't have a high enough intervention. And while I cannot send Japan a bunch of military equipment, simultaneously, I can just go and say, uh, rapidly develop them. Yeah, that seems like a decent thing. Also, entire American military. Yeah, we're just going to delete that. The more that we delete that, the more money that we're going to have in the bank. Beautiful. Oh, wait, Italy declared war on Italy. <laughs> Here I am, finishing things up in the world, and this is just hilarious. Oh, Italy, you broken piece of pasta. And India? Hold up. India is declaring war on India? What is with 2015? It's not even 2016, and all the civil wars are breaking out. What is even happening? And with that, my friends, 2015, Japan annexed. The more that we build up, the more that we can invest, and that just means that Manwa has beaten Manga. If y'all didn't know, that's like... Korean comics. That's basically the equivalent of that. But yeah, that is that is Korea. Basically, for the past three hours, I have been doing this now without a focus tree here. And it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's something. I Western back from this. You can't declare war on anyone. You can't do any of that. But you could just continuously invest and take everything over, which seems to be the basic strategy of what you want to use in this scenario. I think if you all want to see a more aggressive playthrough, if you want to see anything else, then you're going to need to go ahead and like this video because I do want to kind of try out that uh, nationalist UK. Or if there are other ideas that you all want to see from Millennium Dawn, then by all means, make sure to like comment, subscribe, and let me know what it is that you think in the comment section below. My friends, we are done here today. This, these games always take forever, so I appreciate your support in these. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.